we were all set for a fun night with a bunch of couples. We were just going to uh, play tennis for the evening and my wife and I were playing against another couple and we just started practicing and I had a lob shot go over my head and uh, I ran backwards for it and uh, got all the way to the curtain, went to take the shot and uh, once I hit the ball, I got wrapped up in the curtain, fell backwards and uh, hit a steel pole. Evidently I hit it and just fell down, and was completely out. They brought me to, they called an ambulance. Once I got in the ambulance, uh, you know, I, I blacked out again. Didn't know what was happening and evidently had a seizure. He sustained a fracture to the side of his head and that resulted in a blood clot over the, over the surface of the brain, uh, which we call epidural hematoma. Once I got to the hospital, they were waiting for me and um, Dr. Nida had asked that they go ahead and do the scan before he got in there. Luckily he did do that because once I got there and he looked at the scan, he knew right away that I was bleeding on the brain and that they had to go in and, um, and stop that. I could see what a, what a devastating problem this could be if we didn't intervene right away. Uh, we took him immediately up to surgery. Um, once the surgical team was in place and ready to go, I made an incision on the right side of his scalp. I elevated a flap of bone and uh, was able to identify the bleeding blood vessel. In this case, uh, because the fracture had lacerated an arterial vessel, I was able to quickly stop the bleeding and uh, then I was able to replace the bone flap and, um, and take him successfully back to intensive care unit following the surgery. I was very blessed. I mean, I, the next day I woke up and uh, you know, not that I remember the next couple weeks, but I started to progress after that. It's a good thing Rick did come to the emergency room uh, because oftentimes uh, people initially feel like they've just, uh, they're a little dizzy, uh, maybe they just had their bell rung and they otherwise feel okay at first. But as this little blood vessel starts pulsating and putting blood over the surface of the brain, it quickly causes problems. After about six months, I really started to feel like I was before and I could do things, get things done. Once we had Rick uh, come back to Michigan Head and Spine Institute for his follow-up, uh, we were able to get follow-up CT scans to make sure that his injury had resolved and uh, we were able to examine him and really um, give him a lot of guidance with regards to his recovery. His, his wife had a lot of questions. Uh, he had questions about getting back to work, you know, what kind of activities he could do. And uh, so we were able to address that here at MHSI. After about six months, I really started to feel like I was before and I could do things, get things done. Dr. Nida was, uh, he basically saved my life. And, um, you know, I, I, uh, every time I see him, I look at him and it, I just remember that and remember what he did. Well, all of the surgeons at MHSI are available to see patients uh, even on an urgent basis like this. So when we get the phone call, uh, you know, we're ready. Uh, we're used to coming in and taking care of patients and Rick was no exception.